And we're live. Yay! <laughs> Hello there, everyone. This is Stephanie Treasure, the host of this group that you're watching this video in. It may be syndicated on YouTube later on, uh, but just in case, um, Stephanie Treasure, the founder of the Passionate, Purposeful, and Powerful Entrepreneurs Group. And um, I'm here today to, as you can see in the caption, I am inviting you to celebrate with my client as I have been celebrating with her and my other clients have too. Uh, congrat congratulations to her as she just hit 38K in four and a half weeks. We did the math just before this live stream and we are at about a month and four days. So yeah, you know that's about four and a half weeks of working together and she is at this milestone. So please, as you join me, even on the live stream, even if you're watching this on YouTube or on my Facebook page, where I may syndicate this later on, please comment below and congratulate Keisha with me because it's, um, uh, I'm not gonna say hard earned, I'm gonna be, say smart earned, <laughs> right? Because I do believe in um, working smarter, not necessarily harder, and so does Keisha. And as you, we go through, she may share, you know, some of how she works as well in terms of her hours that she works, but she's definitely not doing this business full time. And uh, we haven't been working together for that long either. And she's already at this, um, we're already celebrating this, this win with her. So thank you for joining us today. And this live stream is the kind of, uh, as we celebrate with her, go through her story. I know that uh, for many of you, you find these um, kinds of live streams helpful as you look at others and look at what they're doing, see yourselves in their story and see what's possible for you as well, right? So this is not to brag by any means, but just to show you um, what's possible when you say yes to yourself, when you apply yourself, when you feel supported as Keisha said yes to work, working with me and she does feel supported by my coaching and she's been able to bring about these remarkable results, right? So that's what this is all about. Uh, please comment below, congratulate Keisha, say hi uh, uh, as you join me, let me know where you're logging in from. Uh, share a little bit about yourself and what you do. And as you see others comment, uh, say hi to them as well. All right. So let's go. Keisha, you ready? I am. I'm ready. I'm Keisha Dixon. I'm a transformational wealth coach. I guide uh, coaches and female coaches and consultants to um, get consistent income, bring consistent income in through my Monetize Your Mind success system, doing what they love. So that's about me. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And let me just, I forgot to do a quick sound check just to make sure that we can be heard and seen here. So you may hear some feedback, just one second. Consultants. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I just uh, went just to make sure that it was live in the group. Okay, perfect. So, um, you know, thanks for that introduction. And I wanna say before we continue, I wanna hear pers uh, for persons to hear your story, but uh, you modestly told us about what you're doing. And I know that you have some client wins as well. And in terms of your practice, your coaching practice right now, you're nearing capacity. So yeah. uh, tell us uh, about some wins that your clients have been celebrating recently and how many spots you have left right now. Sure. Um, I recently did a $20,000 challenge in my Facebook group. And participants of the challenge have reported in results. We did this challenge three weeks ago, reported in results of manifesting $75,000, manifesting a 90%, yeah, right? A 90% increase in salary, um, receiving a brand new luxury studio apartment with all of the amenities and all utilities at 60% reduction of market value. Um, Awesome wins so far. Oops, uh, did I lose you? I'm gonna plug my charger in, maybe on my side, sorry. I think it's on my side. I'll still plug my, okay. uh, my battery. I'm, I should have done that before. Excuse me, folks, this is a power. This is what, what happened on a live stream. I thought I covered all the bases, totally yeah. forgot that my battery was near um, uh, depletion, so I had to recharge. All right, go ahead. Yes, another client received a windfall of $6,000 unexpected. One received a $3,000 tip. So 
all of these wins keep coming in, which is amazing. It just feels amazing, right? Because we yes. sort of, as coaches want to see these incredible life-changing results for the people that we serve. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, definitely check Keisha out. Let us know what your website is or where persons can find you best. Sure. Okay, it's uh, www.keishadixonthetappingqueen.com. And obviously, okay. that's a domain I chose when I first started out in business. I would have made it a lot simpler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I'll go on Facebook. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I'll update the caption to share that with folks in case they want to check you out there, right? Yeah, thank you, Stephanie. So tell me, so uh, what well, my next question was going to be when you officially started working with me, but we've established that it's been right. about four and a half weeks now since we've been working together. Yeah. So tell me about what led you in my direction. Um, not, you know, we, you and I have been following each other and friends on Facebook for at least a couple of years. Yeah. But what, um, made you want to work with me you know what were you what what kind of moved you towards being serious about what i do and seeking out an, an opportunity to work with me yeah so, so i'm a coach who always has a coach and i found myself in between coaches for about a two-week period and you know 2020 has been a very interesting year it's years where i i lost my son and so I was watching my, so it definitely wasn't the year to have a gap in coaching. So I was watching myself. I have, I have clients and I had clients at the time that I was um, seeking and praying for a very specific type of coach. Somebody who is professional, relatable, has, has the business techniques and could keep me accountable someone who I felt like could absolutely be trusted to share intimate details with That's really important in a coaching relationship. And we have been connected on Facebook for a few years, but I don't think we had really checked each other's programs out. And I saw one of my friends after I had prayed about, oh, I need a new coach and I don't see anyone popping up in my field. It's like no one's being visible, which by the way, folks, was all about me because I was watching myself not be visible <laughs> or <laughs> as visible as I could have been. That's one of the reasons I really knew I needed to, to get a coach um, because the people that I had in my group session, their contract was winding down. And I was like, if I don't fix this now, it's going to be like a, not good. <laughs> it's not going to feel good at all. Right. So one of our mutual friends had posted about you and I read her post and decided, oh, let me check out what Stephanie's up to, what she's doing in her group. And I went through um, your video, like in one fell swoop, I was cooking dinner and my, while well, my children ate dinner, I was still watching your videos and I'm like, this is what she gives away for free. <laughs> it's, amazing. it's amazing content. And I found your approach and the way you communicate um, not only relatable and professional, but also um, it, it was easily understood. Like you took what I consider to be a complex problem, right? And you broke it down into manageable steps. So I, I absolutely adored that about you. The following week after I had joined this group, you were doing um, a challenge, a client avatar, an ideal client challenge. And I said, yes. well, let me join in. And so I joined in and I was like completely, completely blown away by the content and and the results or the momentum that I felt building up as we as I started implementing what you dropped out in the challenge. And I knew just from what I was doing in the challenge, I'm like, yeah, I could I could take this and run with it and be great. Right. Or I could put my foot on the gas and work with you yeah and not try to figure out all the in-betweens and so um i i had uh placed myself on your calendar unbeknownst to me i had actually won the challenge <laughs> but i was in either way i was like yeah absolutely um i'm going to join this mastermind so that wow. was um i was struggling with accountability i was struggling with being visible and because of the coaching that i do i already knew and here's the limiting belief i already knew what i had to do 
Yes, mm-hmm. I didn't know some things that I had to do, but I didn't know it all. And that's a belief I find that a lot of coaches have, like, oh, I already know this. But it's a limiting belief. There's You can never learn too much. And I've learned so much from you in a very short period of time. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, I remember you were you were on fire. You were taking that challenge as if it was a paid program. I think that's really important. If you are going to get involved in anything, you know, um, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, if you're going to commit your time to it, then we need it 100% and see it through. Don't be, you know, halfway watching. And then, you know, if you're not going to really uh, implement, then don't, part, you know, don't commit to participate at all. And you uh, committed to participating and you actually did it. You went through all the steps, went yeah. through the whole motions. You know, at the end of the challenge, you know, definitely there was an invitation for persons to get on a phone call with me. You did that. You just kept on going. And I think that's one of the things that has been the, recurring theme as we work together now on a, on a more serious level where you do what it takes that you show up for yourself even when I've given you the things that didn't seem so easy didn't seem so glamorous didn't seem like you know that was you it didn't seem like a fit for you because you're like oh that's not the kind of marketing that I do but yeah. you uh, said yes to yourself anyway. You you you, you took the steps. You uh, did the homework. You did the work and made it happen. And I mean, uh, um, it all of all of that activity has led us to where we are, where we can now celebrate a thirty eight k you know month month and month and a half, right? Yeah. So I, I think that's important for folks to um, learn uh, or to, to pay attention to as you watch this and wonder if this is possible for you as well, right? Yeah. And I know you mentioned, you touched on it, Keisha, but if you could kind of pinpoint uh, knowing that you were out, you know, not uh, working with a coach. And usually when you're, you know, shopping for a coach, there's some key things, some key um needles or, or items in your business that you want to work on you know is it uh you know specifically sales or visibility or launch or uh mindset as the case might be uh you mentioned accountability was one thing and visibility was another yes. what if there's any more what were the key things that you knew you wanted support with that um you felt that i could help you with you know One of the key things that it wasn't so much about um, that I knew I wanted support with, but that I knew I desired. A lot of times, and this is no dig on anyone, but a lot of times in what seems to be a trend in our industry these days, particularly in my section of the industry, which is about mindset, is coaches have grabbed onto this concept of don't be attached to the outcome, right? Detached from the outcome of your clients. And I get that. And I also feel like in the industry, it's gone out of balance to the point where the client can end up feeling as if the coach doesn't really care about the outcome of the client. So one of the things that was on my prayer list was somebody who at times when I need it, especially in this year that I'm grieving, it feels like they care at times even more than I do. And I, that was like one a caveat that I had added to the list. And I absolutely felt just from how you're of service, how you're of service in this group, how you're of service, you were of service in the challenge and, and everything that you pour out, that you are so committed not in a in an attached codependent kind of way, like your validation doesn't come from our results, but you're committed to pouring out so that other people are positively impacted and can see results. And that was that was like a big secret agenda that I had in looking for my next coach. And and you fit the bill. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yes, it's it's I don't know, it's and it's not a strategy. It's really just a part of who I am. And again, not uh, I don't want to really want to brag. And I want to keep this, you know, focus on <laughs> your wins. But yeah, it's it's I feel called to serve. And I know that that said, you know, it sounds like a cliche because a lot of people say it that way. Um, it's kind of you know the sound bite that uh, persons uh, say to show uh, folks that yeah, I work with me because I you know I live to serve, right. but. In, that's 
really part, if you know my character outside of business, it's the same way. I'm always, I'm usually showing up for friends, showing up for family, uh, pouring from my cup because that's just what I do. And I deeply want to um, respect and honor the investment of everybody that comes to work with me. And, uh, you know, I, I call on my clients and, and require for them, not only after the, uh, to make that investment, but to show up for themselves 100%. So I, I feel that the onus is on me to do the same, um, show up for you, um, to show up for you even if you're feeling down and to be there in full support of what you're doing and to make sure that you have the strategy, the tools, the accountability um, that you need to um, honor your investment of time, of energy and money and yeah. see the results of that. Yes, right. yeah. And you had touched on something earlier. Um, I, when I first started working with you, I, I gave you a list of, well, I don't do this and I don't do that. <laughs> you <laughs> gently suggested that I try um, something that was on my list of don't do's. And, and guess what? It wasn't hard. It was actually fun. And it converted well. And it's still converting well. Um, so again, another limiting belief just like completely shattered. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. Simply by opening myself up. Right. You stepped out of your comfort zone, right? Which is a, a, a key term that I use a lot too uh, in my tra my paid trainings and, and uh, free trainings. And you um, dared to do something that, you know, wasn't, didn't feel like a match for you. Right. And I remember you saying uh, recently because that, that one thing has really opened up so many doors for you, have brought it. Oh so much um, leads, so many paid, paid clients and opportunities that um, I remember you saying the other day that it's like the gift that keeps on giving because yeah. every time you think, okay, it's a strategy, it's done, now it's behind you, there's still, you're still reaping the rewards from that. So, you know, that's yeah. the power to stepping out of your comfort zone and being coachable too and open and willing to take the advice of somebody who um, is helping others to achieve the results that you want to achieve and saying, okay, let me do this. Let me try it on and do it a hundred percent and see what happens. And yeah. I know it, it has been um, the, just watching how that has really led it to so much um, in your business between money and opportunities and leads, uh, et cetera. It's just, it's really, it's gratifying to watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gratifying for me as well. <laughs> you know, another thing that, um, another limiting belief, since I'm talking about limiting beliefs here, another limiting belief that I usually have, even though I'm always with a coach, usually going in, I have a little bit of trepidation when starting with a new coach, not because I don't believe, in them and in the investment I made and in their services and in myself. Um, but I secretly harbored this belief that whenever I start working with a new coach, then my current business, my current clients, all of that like goes, goes to a halt as I'm rebuilding momentum. And that hasn't been the case at all. I, you know, the $30,000 has been on top of the money that was already coming in from existing clients. Awesome. So there was no halt in services. There was no burning my business down to the ground and starting all over, which I don't know why that was a belief of mine, but it was, um, but no more. And we have broken many limiting beliefs. I mean, we could go on and on with yeah. things that were holding you back. And then when you execute, you're like, oh, it wasn't, that wasn't so bad. And actually that was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Let's kind of go through some milestones here again, okay. just to really bring people on this journey of what's possible and what has led you uh, to where we are right now. So what was your first big win? Um, the first big win was uh, maybe five or six days from our first talking on the phone um, or on Zoom was uh, somebody booked in my calendar, someone who I had reached out to, I just sent a warm email to, um, during the challenge, she reached out and she booked a uh, booked a sales call. And on her interview sheet, she had said, yeah, I'm not really interested in working with anyone right now. I can't afford it, whatever. But on the call, uh, she ended up saying yes. We went through the call. It was a great call of service call. She said yes. And
to do Lose Me. I've been in the coaching world for two and a half years now, full time. Previous to that, I certainly have clients and I've had yeses and I had never experienced someone paying on the sales call. It's usually there, there was a lag time. They may pay a few hours after the sales calls, but more often than not, they were paying a day or three days later as they thought about that yes, as they marinated on the yes, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this was like immediate. Um, so that was a huge win for me. That's Since, awesome. Yeah, and prior to our working together, my sales conversion was, uh, I would book one client out of every three calls, and now, it's four clients out of every five calls. So that's like an increase of 42%. I believe I did the math, 42% right. increase on right. conversion, which is great. It's phenomenal. That's, yeah, that is really, really, really good. I am really happy to hear those numbers. Yeah. And I know that you did mention that that was, that was a point for you where, you know, you had a lot of people, um, you know, deliberating and possibly saying no after they sit on it for a few days and your conversion has skyrocketed since we yeah. started working together. So I'm really, really happy to hear that. And I was going to ask you what we have it right on here. I was going to ask you what's your um, revenue to date from new clients since working with me. And we've established that it's 38K. And, yeah. and the keyword there is new clients. So right. you have income, recurring income already coming in from previous or existing clients. Yeah. So you 38K in new business in the months and four days that we started working together. Yeah. Can I give you a visual? Because I always put like a sticker because I'm visual. Yeah. Every time, every time a deposit hits my business account, and this is <laughs> <laughs> wow. This I can't even count how many um, <laughs> circles. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> it's Twenty-two circles. That's great. That's and great. On the, yeah, on the what twenty-eighth day of the month. So yeah. That's like really good. <laughs> twenty. Yeah, twenty-two. Right. Okay. 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 That's great. Yeah. Yeah, That's, I'm really, really happy to see that. I like that visual yeah. because <laughs> it makes you, um, really puts you in that, you know, where you're like, okay, this means money. And then you want to, you know, put more, you want to fill the calendar with even more circles. Yeah, so I like yeah it's my little reward. It's my reward system. <laughs> like, oh, sticker. yay, sticker. <laughs> great, great. I love that. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, again, guys, as you're watching this, please, uh, not, I, I know you're going to be inspired by the story, but share, um, what's inspiring you. What are you feeling as you read this? And please, uh, give Keisha, you know, some congrats in the comments for the work that she's done to date and that she's still doing because, uh, as at the, at the recording of this live stream, we haven't, um, uh, well, the, the, the mastermind that uh, Keisha is a part of, this is kind of a bonus month for the mastermind. So we are going to officially get started next week. So with just one one-on-one uh, -on -one call that she's had with me so far, we've had a few, a couple of group sessions. We've been in touch uh, through Slack. She's been able to uh, read these remarkable results um, in her business, not only in terms of um Revenue, new revenue made to date, but in terms of shifts and uh, with her the way that she's closing sales calls, the visibility that she's achieving. Oh, which we didn't. Uh, let's touch on visibility really quick because visibility is one of the main things that clients come to me looking for. Uh, how many speaking engagements have you been able to book uh, to date since working? Five, five speaking engagements. Five speaking engagements. That's yeah. great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's phenomenal. It feels really good. Uh, previous to working with you, I would average maybe one a month. So it's been five in, in a month and four days. That's really, really, that's a, that's a very big win. Really happy to hear that. Congratulations. So what has been your overall experience working with me? Kind of yeah, similar. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I know at the beginning of this, we were going to talk a little bit about the hours that I work not doing, even though I say, well, I coach full time. I am not working full time hours. Previous to working with you, as I was watching myself not be visible, I was working about 12 hours a week. Okay. And right now I'm working roughly 15, 15 and a half a week. And the only difference is the I'm working with more clients in that time and believe it or not, I'm doing less stuff. 
I'm just doing the right stuff, which, right. Is, which is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm not like exhausted um, implementing your strategy. I'm, I'm far from exhausted <laughs> implementing your strategies. I'm actually having fun with it. I'm waking up every single morning like, yeah, this is what most mornings, this is what we're doing today. Awesome. <laughs> The mornings were, or afternoons where I'm like, oh, Stephanie, I don't want to send this to my email list. Can you just look at it? You'll like yeah. make one or two tweaks. I, I believe it's one or two tweaks. And all yeah. of a sudden, I'm like, oh, this feels really good. <laughs> and open, uh, rate, open rate has skyrocketed too. I remember you were saying yeah. that it's increased. Yeah, my email list has increased. Uh, previous to working with you, honestly, I did not tend to my email community at all, uh, at all. It was like one of the things that I absolutely avoided doing. I'm not sure why, but I did not want to send emails out. I would send a, a couple out a year. Um, so my email add-ins, adding new people to the list, that's increased. My engagement has increased. The open rate has increased. People from my email list are writing me back. That hadn't ever happened before and so it feels really good it just feels really good really of service i feel so engaged super engaged with my email list and super engaged with my facebook group so it just feels good business feels good that's great that's great and that it should you know what i mean we you know one of the reasons why we become business owners is to get out of uh you know and this is not to knock anybody in corporate or in a job that they love but for some of us it's just it gets to a point where we're not happy we don't feel fulfilled and we also are you know at the edge of burnout so we you know get into the into business so that we can reclaim more of our time and you know of course there's you know uh, reasons that we get into it as it relates to wanting to make more money and things like that and you've been able to you know craft your own hours uh right now is as we're taping this Keisha is living in another state uh on you know on vacation you know yeah. doing this part time and spending time with family yeah and she's able to do that and still she hasn't missed a beat and as she showed in her diary just now she has you know stickers all over the place for the time that income has been coming in to her bank account her business bank account and you know things are still flourishing and um and you still are happy you know each day waking up serving your clients doing the marketing that we've uh strategies that we've created together and executing them and reaping the results so i'm really really happy to hear that again another source of inspiration of what's possible for you as you're watching this yes so what advice would you give someone who is thinking about working with me uh, as we're, we're recording this again? I am launching the Next Level VIP Mastermind, which is the latest way, the newest way that I'm working with clients. What, would you, um, what advice would you give somebody who is thinking about joining uh, that program? I would challenge them to put their foot on the gas and get on a call with you because even, and, and I know the people who are considering the mastermind, already have some level of success right we all have some level of success walking in put your foot on the gas because you really can accelerate your growth just by implementing your really um easily broken down systems it's remarkable because even in the last week i've gone from what was it 27 to 38 in in less than five days or six days it's yeah. amazing what happens with the momentum when you start using the right strategies um, that aren't, they're not hard to do. And, you know, one of the things I like to say, too, is that you, you feel more powerful. You feel that so much more is possible when you feel that you're supported and, and I'm using that word supported to mean that you know that you have uh, whether it's a team behind you in terms of the admin stuff or other things in your business and supported in terms of a coach that that is guiding you along the way do you feel or have you felt in this past month supported oh my god wildly supported I mean honestly we don't know what we don't know because for me, I think I, I come in knowing everything, but <laughs> um, but you, you know, obviously I am able to check in with you if, if I'm feeling an, any hesitancy or that I need additional support. 
but it's almost as if you already know what I'm going to feel next and you circumvent it and, and like you send me an email or a, in Slack and just, okay, can I see this and let me see that and how's this going? And you are holding me accountable in a very, like it doesn't feel like I'm being constrained or constricted or I'm not in flow. It doesn't feel like that at all. It just really feels like you care about my success and you are using everything in your toolbox to ensure that your clients are, are successful. Yeah, oh, I don't, yeah. so much. Thank I you. really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Keisha. Um, you know, you're just uh, speaking to everything that I strive to do and try to do for as I serve my clients. So the fact that you're feeling it on, on the end and you, you do feel supported, um, it really, you know, <laughs> it warms my heart. Thank you. So as we wrap up, um, actually, I think, uh, do you have any other parting words? I sign up. Sign up. <laughs> I can't wait to see you there. You know, Stephanie is absolutely phenomenal at what she does. And also the other ladies who are in the mastermind are also equally absolutely phenomenal. And the bond that we're building right now, I feel like I have these new business besties. Being an entrepreneur can be a very lonely journey at times and when when you're building up these collaborations and networking and friendships with other people like-minded women who really are so committed to their success and to yours that's a win 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 so so join the wins <laughs> yes. and thank you so much for that and my parting words would be to um, imagine what could be possible for you if you had the support that you needed, if you knew someone or had the support from somebody who knew right strategy, who has experience uh, in business, has experience in marketing, has helped other clients to achieve their milestones, their wins, um, their next level to double and triple their income. Um, what would it feel like or what could you do if you had that kind of support, right? If you know that you're ready to take that next step to go to your next level, but you're willing to concede that you may not know it all, uh, you may not be able to do it all by yourself and you could be supported by someone who has been there, done that and helped others to do um, to achieve the results that you're looking for, then say yes to yourself, right? Say yes to yourself. Um, get in touch with me. You can reach me via my website, stephanietreasure.com, or through uh, Facebook on my business page, Stephanie Treasure Biz. Or if you look up Stephanie Treasure Online Marketing Strategy, you've, uh, Strategist, you'll find me. And um, if there's anything that I can do to you know, answer any questions that you may have as you try to decide whether or not this is for you, I'll get those answered for you. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in. Again, don't forget to uh, celebrate with Keisha, right? Yeah. And um, we will be in touch. I'll see you on another live stream. All right. Thanks thank again, you so Keisha. Much. Thank Everyone. you, Tiffany. Bye.